one more cast and welcome to today's video. Hey guys, and welcome back. This video is gonna be a little bit different than the ones I've done in the past. As you saw from the intro, I received a package, but what's inside this package is different pieces to make the baits that you see in all of my videos. So I thought I would open it up in front of you guys, show you a little bit about the blanks that I've just purchased, and some things that you can see coming up on my channel. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. As you can see, I have a bunch of different kinds of blanks and also different hooks. So I'm gonna walk you through all of these different things, tell you what they're for and why I use them. So first up, we have the larger swim bait. Together with its tail, this lure is about six and a half inches long and it weighs just under two ounces. This is an awesome glide style swim bait that really looks awesome in the water and it has a really awesome profile for painting up as well. Next to that, we have the smaller swim bait. Together with its tail, it's just under five inches long and just under one ounce. You saw from my last video that I painted one of these up in a trout pattern and I really like the look of it. After I showed that video to some friends, I got some immediate orders and so I purchased some more blanks. I do actually have more blanks and orders at this point, so I will put some of these up on Etsy. If you're interested in ordering one of these swim baits, put a comment down below or go check out my Etsy page, which is always linked in the description of my videos. I have a feeling that these swim baits are really gonna start catching some bass when the water warms up a little bit more and these bass start getting hungry before they're spawn. Next in line, I have some of these jerkbait blanks. And these are blanks of the Vision 110 originally made by Mega Bass. I've painted up a lot of these jerkbaits and I really like the way that they look. Myself, I'm not the best jerkbait fisherman, but I'm trying to get more into it. But I know from others that these are proven fish catchers. I bought 10 of these blanks and I'm also gonna start painting them up and putting them on my Etsy store. And then lastly, we have a lure called a Little John. So originally these were made by Spro and they're smaller profiled baits. They weigh only about a fourth of an ounce, which is a little bit lighter than most of the baits that we paint, but they have a really awesome wobble and they're really good for colder waters as well. They dive to about six to eight feet and they're just perfect in my opinion for you know early spring and uh, late winter type fishing. So I bought 10 of these as well, also going to be painting them up for some customers. In this package, I also restocked on different sizes of hooks that I use for all of my different lures. For all of my lures, I use Mustad KVD triple grips and they're four times short and two times strong. I have them in size two for those larger swim baits, size four, which is what I use for most of the lures that I make actually, and they'll also be on the smaller swim baits, and then size six for the jerk baits and uh, the Spro Little Johns. I don't think I need to tell you guys that good hooks are super important for fishing, especially when you have larger fish involved. And so I've never had any troubles with these Mustad triple grips. They're sticky sharp, they hold fish, and uh, all around, they've been my favorite hooks to use, and so I put them on all of my baits. And that's it for the package. I hope you like this kind of video. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you wanna see more of kind of behind the scenes to making these kind of baits. Also, if you get one thing out of this video, please comment down below any kind of pattern you'd like to see, specifically for these jerk baits. I wanna know more about what your favorite jerkbait style pattern is, and I'm gonna do a video on the one that I like the best. Spring is right around the corner, guys, and I'm getting super excited. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I come out with a couple videos every week around fishing and uh, the bait painting process, and soon we're gonna be getting into some nice fish. So, again, appreciate you, and until next time, tight lines.